All right, so we're gonna give you a little update on the uh, gripper here. So basically, this is the AR4 gripper. You can find the um, downloads for the gripper to go along with the uh, AR robot on Chris Annan's website. Uh, but I modified the gripper with a different adapter plate with the help from my friend Matt to uh, adapt to the iGUS Rebel robot. Now, uh, one of the annoying things about that adapter though is you basically have to mount the adapter and then you have to assemble the gripper on the robot. So what I did, and I'll actually show you this, is I modified it um, such that you can see here that uh, there are some bolts here and this basically comes up and grabs it from the side um, so you don't need to assemble the whole thing on the robot. You assemble the gripper, you can stick it in there, add these uh, bolts and you're in business. Now another thing that we modified is we went ahead and added these slots um, and you can see there's two nuts in here and by doing that we can basically swap out different types of jaws. Uh, in this case I just printed a new set of jaws um, that basically go almost a little bit past halfway um, of, the, um, of the circumference of the cup here. And why did I do that? Because now what I can actually do is without even um, opening up the gripper, I can grab a cup, flip it over, and come off the cup. So let me go ahead and show you guys an example of that. So what you can see here is a cup dispenser. I grab a cup, a new cup comes up, right? Now, um, normally you would use the gripper to come down and grab a cup, you'd have it open. But what's cool is I actually wrapped this uh, with some electrical tape, which adds some grip. So if I actually were to take one of these cups and put it inside of the grip like that, you can actually see that there's a really nice snug, you know, grip there without even grabbing. It just put the cup snug in there like that. So what's cool is in this orientation, I can actually come down, grab a cup, pick it up, flip it over, come down and come off the cup, all without any sort of gripper actuation. So you can see that again, I come down and I have to work on one issue where it sometimes dispenses two cups, but that's an issue for a later day. Flip over, come down, I can pivot off the cup. And I can do that over and over, keep picking up cups. And what's cool is after I pick up my cup, I can go, get my drink, I can make the drink that I want to make, and then I want to give it to the customer, boom, I give it to the customer. So basically, um, by putting that electrical tape, by making it such that the jaws don't go all the way around the cup, um, and when I come down on the lower part of the cup, um, I can come off the cup, it means I don't even need a gripper actuation. So I haven't quite figured out if that's the right way to go, for picking up uh, cups, moving them around to make things like drinks, um, but it's one of the things that I have in the works. Um, you can see it also works on plastic, but note, um, you know, I also have to deal with that issue where sometimes it picks up uh, more than more than I actually want in terms of the cups. It just picked up two. Um, so what I'll probably do is update the dispenser to have some sort of lip to uh, catch. Uh, right now there's a rubber lip, but it's a little too big for the cups. Um, so I'll probably catch that such that only one cup comes off at a time. Um, so again, come down, pick up cups, flip, come off, um, all with electrical tape, modified jaws, um, and the AR gripper. So um, theoretically, again, I might be able to delete, I love deleting parts, I might be able to delete the servo altogether, mount it, and just use the action of the robot arm coming up and down in order to... Um, pick up and move the cups around. Um, so that's an update on the gripper. Um, I'll get the CAD model, you know, up at some point um, and, uh, and post them on my YouTube channel. But with that, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next video.